Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Just GTA. The GTA franchise is by far the most popular Rockstar game development and production. Players impatiently wait for the updates that lead them into new missions, and this one precisely is the answer to the prayers. In this update, Richard Solomons has a new mission for GTA 5 players that involves tracking down multiple movie props from across the GTA map. All of these vary in difficulty, so stay with us to find out how and where you can end up collecting all of his props. Pony Van Mummy Prop Pony is among the three random vans that you have to find in the GTA map. This van carries the mummy prop so you instantly know this is the one of the vital search items. The pony could be found from one of the three locations on the map, the first of which is the Epsilon Center. Each encounter will be different than before, so if you naturally find the mummy prop at the Epsilon Center, there are going to be Epsilon NPCs at the spot who are going to be super enraged when you take the van. The next location is the court center, where you will come across a different set of guards. The third and final location is right outside the court center on the road driving north on Tongva Drive. Although you will have to act smartly to trick the NPCs and make your way out of their sight as soon as possible, the challenge is going to be thrilling and might as well take you a few tries before you do it. Regardless, these locations are very nice and simple because they are closer to each other and are pretty much on the west side of Vinewood, just before you step on the long stretch of highway. You might want to be in full health as you attempt to steal the van because slowing down will only make you chase easily and you do not want to let go of that valuable vehicle. Rumpo Van Tiger Prop The Rumpo Van holds the Tiger Prop in its back which is actually meant to be for the Richard Solomons movie. Surprisingly, these are scattered the closest to each other. The developers made a good try to deviate us off the track, but here we are with all the information. This prop is close to the mirror park, but on the opposite side of the highway. Two of the three locations are literally only a street apart from each other. One is parked at the Simiot Alley, in Textile City, and the other is found when you drive west over the San Andreas Avenue Bridge. This is super convenient and good looking for the players. This area of the map is technically called La Mesa and is located right beside one of the movie theaters, clothing stores, and one of the Los Santos custom shops. Too much going on at once. Now, this is when you get closer to the third location. It is right next to Lester's factory, parked outside Darnell Brothers from the single player mode. If you're having a hard time remembering, this is the place where you go to start the single player heist mission. Everything is indeed connected in the remarkable GTA 5 map. Rebel Globe Prop This fan is located in Palito Bay and holds the precious Globe Prop. This one doesn't come as easy as the first two. The first two vans are scattered throughout the city, while the third location is closer to one of the two firsts further along east on the Great Ocean Highway. This will be the hardest search mission because this is the furthest away from Solomon's office and you do have to end up bringing the vehicles back to him. You will find the first van parked in the alley behind Hen House. The second is relatively closer, parked in the Willie's supermarket parking lot, and the third is on the highway as you move ahead. Here's a tip. This mission can be done in any type of lobby. For example, either in a private session, invite only, or in a friend session. However, it is recommended that it is done in an invite only session or at the least with your good friends to maintain your uppercut through the game. This is in a case where your vehicle is destroyed because your character dies of some reason and this doesn't exactly work for Solomon, so you will have to wait for the random event to spawn again. And the real strategy here is, set your spawn location as your last visited spot on the map, especially in a place as big as Polito Bay. Doing this in a public session is only an invitation to character death because there are higher chances of civilians killing you. Once you find all of Solomon's movie props, you'll be in for a great treat. 
After returning all, you will be the owner of a total of $150,000 as your reward for the job, which will help you unlock the Space Interloper outfit. Now, that is something someone would truly work hard for. There is no doubt that Rockstar Games has all the best ways to keep GTA 5 players glued to their seats, and this mission update is evidence of that. This brings us to the end of our video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.